OK, uh, so let's first introduce some um, commonly used uh, vector data analysis. Um, the one is called buffer. So the buffer means that we can create a buffer polygons around any input feature to a specific distance. OK, around any type of input feature. So here you can the input feature can be uh, points can be polyline and also can be polygons. And the you have to specify the distance, okay, so like five kilometers, uh, 10 miles, etc. And for the output, you can choose whether or not you want to uh, dissolve uh, the output. So if you don't want to dissolve the output, so for each single input, it has its own unique buffers. So those buffers will be separate. If you choose to dis, uh, dissolve, and if those buffers that they touch, they, they share the boundaries, then they will be dissolved as one buffer. OK, so depending on the scenarios that uh, what you want, so you can choose either dissolve or non-dissolve. OK, so that is buffer. Uh, so since we're talking about dissolve, so Dissolve actually ha can be another separate tool. So that will aggregate features based on the specific attributes. OK, uh, so for example, here we have the population for each single county. However, if you don't want the population of state, but if you want to have a population for state, you can dissolve based on the state ID. OK, you can dissolve based on state ID. And next, so all the counties that belong to the same state will be one um, single feature. OK, so all the counties that belong to the same state will be a single feature. And you can specify that how do you want to aggregate those attributes. So you can either calculate the average, the mean, um, the maximal, the minimal, etc. So that is uh, dissolved. Select. Uh, we have talked about select in the previous lectures that we can select by attribute and also select by um, spatial locations. However, so here the select is in a spatial analysis. So that means that you can select features from the input based on either spatial query or non-spatial query. And you can store them into an output feature. OK, so here is the difference. So the, in this select, you can save the selection into a new feature, into a separate feature. So that is a select in the data analysis. So it's not a simple query, but when you make the query, the result of the query will be saved as a new output feature class. OK, uh, so let's see some examples. Uh, so here, if we want, if we are going to use those uh, spatial analysis, so we can either go to the tools that beneath the analysis, and you can type uh, that um, the name of that analysis. For example, if I want to create buffer, so I just type buffer. Okay, and here there are different types of buffers, but the uh, the first one is the one that we're going to use in this lecture, so the buffer analysis. Or if you go to the toolbox here, and if you click this drop down list, and here ArcGIS Pro listed those most commonly used spatial analysis. For example, the buffer is here, um, and also select is not listed here. Dissolve, I think. Uh, is listed here. So you can, if you want to use buffer or the dissolve, dissolve, you can use those two here. Okay, or you can just search in this uh, search box. Okay, so for the buffer, let's say we'll create buffer. Let's say well, we want to create buffer for each single mass shooting. So here, let's see, the input feature will be the mass shooting 2019 that is projected. And for this output feature, so um, they all uh, give you this name, but however, let's 
let's give it a more specific name. So let's say we call this one as a buffer. And we want to create this one as 50 kilometers. OK, so let's put that into the name. And also in this distance field, let's choose 50. And let's choose kilometers. OK, and do you want to dissolve or not? So let's say we don't want the dissolve. OK, and next, let's write. OK, uh, so now you can see we have those tiny circles that are being created around each single point of the mass gun shooting instance. Uh, so if you zoom in, OK, you can see that, for example, here uh, we have three points. And for each single uh, point, we have a separate buffer. OK, and if we right click open this attribute table, OK, and we can see that for each single instance, so uh, we also have the original information, like number of people being killed and also injured. Original FID, OK, uh, so that is the primary key on this mass routine points. And also we can see the length and also areas and also distance. OK, distance, this is uh, 50 kilometers, so that is five, uh, 50 uh, thousand meters okay so that is the buffer analysis and if we go to the catalog and we can see that again so this is geodatabase that created for this project so all the result is saved in this geodatabase let's next let's try the dissolve so if we go to this uh, toolbox window so let's choose the dissolve so here, let's say, suppose we only have a county population and we want to dissolve the population based on the state, see how that will look like. So let's click dissolve. And for this input feature, let's choose the county population. OK. And the output feature will be county population dissolve, which is fine. So and the dissolve field, so that is on based on which field you are going to dissolve your result. So let's say we want to dissolve by the state. OK, by the state. And also, how do you want to calculate the field? So let's say if we want to calculate the total population. And we want the sum. So here you can see you can calculate mean, sum, standard deviation, etc. So let's say calculate the, the sum. OK. So basically what we are going to do is that, so suppose that we don't have the state population, so we are going to merge all the counties based on their state name. And we are also going to calculate the total population. So we are sum up all the populations. And let's see how that looks like. So let's write. OK, uh, so now we can see we have this county population dissolve. And if we open the attribute table, OK, so now we have the uh, 52 records, and also we have the total population. OK, and so if you really want to compare the dissolved population against the state population, and which actually we can try it. So uh, here right now on my map, that is a green maps are the dissolved from the county and also orange ones those are the original state population so if i select both layers and if i go to the map and also choose explore explore and i click so if i click on the map okay and also make sure in the explore you choose to uh, explore the visible layers. So let's say we check the Virginia. So let's click Virginia, identifying. And now you can see uh, it return result from the dissolved. So where the population is this. And uh, if you look at the population from state, okay, 
uh, ArcGIS Pro crashed. Okay, so here I just restart ArcGIS Pro and uh, I can, you can see that Lecture 7 is still there, so it is automatically saved. Uh, so now I'm just reopening this project. And uh, hopefully everything will still be saved. So if we go to my folders and Lecture 7 and also GeoDatabase, so uh, all the analysis are still saved. Okay, so let's let's drag the population dissolved and also the population of the state. So we are going to compare uh, the population. So let's say go to explore. Let's just compare for Virginia. Okay, uh, we can move this window a little bit bigger. Okay, uh, let's see the population for Virginia. So from the state population, so that is this number. And from this dissolved, so that is almost the same number. Okay, great. So lastly, let's try this select. So if you remember that, if we go to the analysis, uh, let's remove this dissolved one. So let's say we want to select two states. So let's say we want to select Virginia uh, and also, let's say, uh, Maryland. OK, we want to select two states. Um, so in this most commonly used uh, analysis, you can see that select was not there, is not there. Right, it's not there. So let's go to toolbox and let's select, uh, choose select, type select, S-E-L-E-C-T. Okay, so that is select. So this select is different from uh, the one that we used earlier. Okay, so it is different from the map selection because in this map selection, you only select the data and it will show you the selected result. But in this select, in this geoprocessing, it, it will allow you to select here, let's say select state population and it will save the result into a new uh, feature class or into a new space of data. So first, let's say we want to select Virginia. And let's choose a new expression here. Let's say we want the state name equals Virginia. OK, and we can run it. You can also use SQL code. OK, uh, now you can see this is success. And also Virginia has been selected. Uh, for some reason, they are using the same color. So if I uncheck state population, and you can see Virginia is here, so that is stand alone. Um, uh, ship file or the feature class. And if I go to the catalog, you can see that here, I do have the Virginia as a standalone uh, single uh, feature class or polygon. So let's repeat this selection. So here, let's say we want to select Maryland as well. So let's here, we just see Maryland. And in the query, we can choose the name equals Maryland. And now we run it. OK, uh, so now you can see Maryland is now uh, added to the map. So again, if we go to the catalog and we can see we have our second polygon that is Maryland being selected as a separate polygon feature in our geodatabase.